Okay, so this video is uh, still in the chapter of polynomial rings and we are going to get directly into a very important concept. The, the definition of principal ideal domain. We usually write PID, principal ideal domain. A principal ideal domain is an integral domain R in which every ideal has the form as this form okay so a such that uh, the set is r a r is in the integral domain okay and a is an element in the integral domain Okay, after this definition of principal ideal domain, a very important concept, we get directly into the theorem the, where the field of polynomials, the, the theorem says the field of polynomials is a principal ideal domain. So let F be a field, then the field of polynomials is a principal ideal domain. And we are going to get directly into the proof for this. The proof is really simple. So, uh, okay, we pick the field of polynomials, but I need something here before. Remember, in a previous video, we saw that if D is an integral domain, that implies that this ring of polynomials is also a um, an integral domain. Okay, if D is an integral domain, the ring of polynomials is also a integral domain. Okay, so we are going to use that fact here. So knowing that since F uh, F is a field, so um, the, um, the field of polynomials will also be a integral domain, okay, using that previous uh, uh, theorem. You can check that three or four videos before. Now, we take an ideal, we take the field of polynomials, and we take one ideal in it okay now we have two possibilities either the ideal is only the element zero a set with the element zero and if that's the case then the ideal will have this form right so R will be multiplying zero here. Yeah. Or another possibility is that the ideal um, is not only the element zero, and then the ideal will have uh, some polynomials. Okay. If the ideal has some polynomials, we pick, we call g of x the minimum degree, the polynomial with minimum degree. Okay, we pick this one. Okay, now uh, we have to show that the ideal will have the, will be built it after this polynomial of minimum degree g of x. Okay, to prove that it's really simple because we pick f of x in the, uh, the integral domain and by the division theorem we can say or we can write f of x like this f of x, g of x, the, the, the particular minimum degree polynomial 
gfx times the quotient of x plus the remainder of x. And according to the division algorithm now, either the remainder is 0, OK, or if it is not 0, the degree of the remainder has to be less than the degree of g of x. Uh, this, this is according to the division algorithm, right? You already have a, a, a contradiction here, if you look well. But, okay, um, to show you the, the contradiction, we are going to write, we make r of x the subject, so r of x will be equal to f of x minus g of x times q of x in the integral domain and we see that this situation is impossible because the degree of the remainder has to be smaller than the degree of g of, of x right so if the remainder equals f of x minus this if we subtract this the the remainder is not going to be smaller than this one okay so this situation is totally impossible and since this situation is totally impossible the only possibility is this one the only possibility is this one right so it means that r of x equals zero but that implies that f of x has this form Okay, and that proves the theorem. Because the remainder is zero, right? So f of x, every element of f of x will be written. You see, you can see this as um, r a, every element, you see, is written in this form r a. So it is a principal ideal domain. So if f is a field, the field of polynomials is a principal ideal domain. Okay, now we go quickly through another theorem. Um, criterion for the ideal. Uh, this is a very, very handy thing. A criterion to know if an ideal uh, can be built it with g of x. Let f be a field, i an ideal, in the field of polynomials, and g of x an element of the field of polynomials. Then i the ideal will have this form, can be built it on, based on g of x, if and only if g of x is a non-zero polynomial of minimum degree in i. It's a bit like we saw in the, the previous theorem. Okay, so g of x has to be the minimum degree polynomial. Okay, and this theorem is very handy because um, if you use this theorem, okay, if f is a field, i an ideal in the field of polynomials, and g of x an element of f, of the field of polynomials, uh, g of x, the polynomial of minimum degree, uh, will build an ideal here. Yeah. You pick this theorem and you pick the first isomorphism, a uh, theorem for rings. You can check that three or four uh, videos before. So the first isomorphism theorem for rings and this theorem um, you can verify that the ring of polynomials the quotient ring of the ring of polynomials by this ideal this is isomorphic to the ring of complex numbers. Okay, just use uh, this theorem 
and the first isomorphism theorem.